must tell you our story of our Sanskrit. Um, I should say at the very beginning that I am not a Sanskritist in the same way as many of my colleagues, uh, friends, teachers who are attending the World Sanskrit Conference here uh, at UBC. Um, I've studied the language, uh, but I've studied many languages. And um, for me, I'm a historian of ideas, and I'm also interested in um, reading um, our present uh, in Indian society, um, in, in, in South Asia, in, in the world. Um, and for me, Sanskrit um, is a door, a resource, a tool, uh, a very powerful point of access um, to the pre-modern and the pre-colonial past uh, of, of of the Indic world, of the Indian subcontinent, and of many other parts of Asia and the world as well. Um, so the way I look at Sanskrit is as something which really opens doors for me uh, when I'm interested in looking at uh, the relationship between our past and our present. And when I'm interested in trying to understand and explain the presence of the past in our midst even today. Um, my particular interests have always been in um, the sort of main features of Indian social, political, and cultural life. And I think you'll all agree that these include the fact, as Koshi was describing, of uh, social inequality, um, as well as um, really difficult um, and violent encounters between different social groups and social classes. Um, this is simply a fact of living in a very diverse uh, and now increasingly a democratic society. Um, so I'm not here and I don't pursue my scholarship in order to either defend Sanskrit or blame Sanskrit.